I'm calling captures. We have an action packed five episodes so far, and we've seen so many faces. We need to break it down now. We've had drama, punchlines, stripping, relationships, beef, real talk, and real life. <laughs> so today on Tango Extra, we're just gonna really go back to basics and just get to know our cast. So, first up, we've got India. Alright, India. So you've came in with a bang, shall we say? Shall we say you came in with a bang? You came with a bang. Yeah. So straight in, you went straight in talking about your experience stripping in your first episode. Mhm. Mm you feel that was a brazen move. You feel like you could have left it before, like, I mean, I mean, I could have left it, but obviously when it got brought up, the question was something like, the table. yeah, like the question was something like, what would you do if your girl was a stripper or something silly like that thing, or I brought it up in it, plus me, so, mm -hmm. can't help it, can't hold it in. Okay, tell us a bit about yourself. How old are you, young? I'm 23. 23. Mm -hmm. So, we've touched on the stripping a bit, but how did you get into stripping? Um, I joined an agency. Um, obviously the agency was for to be like, you know, to be like a video girl and stuff and obviously yeah. that um, movie So we thing. could catch you in quite a few music videos, yeah? Yeah, but I won't tell you which one because I don't want you to know. I'm sure we'll work out in the comment, <laughs> section, comment section, below, comment section below. The only way you'll know what videos I'm in mm -hmm. is if you see my ass. If you see my ass in real life then you'll know what videos I'm yeah. in. Yeah. Cool. We've seen that. <laughs> cool. All up in that. <laughs> you know, we've seen that. <laughs> I hate you lot. Stop it. So, the so, the, so you said you were starting off as a video girl. Mm -hmm. How did that get into stripping? Um, so, obviously, the people that I was around, um, the girls that I was around, obviously, they stripped and stuff. So, I kind of got into it as well. So, as simple as that, really. Oh, so the opportunity came. Yeah, like obviously the people it. I was around, they stripped, so thought, why not? Would you do it again? No, nah, I wouldn't do it again. Is it a spirit where you'd be like, okay, I've done it, but no regrets? Or? I mean, I've done it. I can't mm -hmm. regret it because I've done it. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't regret it. I've just, I've done it. Like, I did it to see what it was like. Like, you hear stuff about, like, stripping and lap dancing and stuff like that on TV, so... Now that I've done it, I know what it's like and I know what it's done to me as a person, so I can't, I couldn't do it again. Okay. You, we've seen on the first episode, you're mm -hmm. kind of giving a hard time for her, mm -hmm. other cast members, for the whole idea of you going out there and stripping and thinking that that's it. Yeah. The, the, um, especially the guys, if we, well, there's a bit more to it. Mm -hmm. Like, you're see you laying yourself out there and kind of giving yourself out there, just out there like that and stuff. Did you take anything to heart? No. Say? No. Not at all? No. I've taken, there's been a lot worse, a lot more worse things that I've taken to heart on social media. And so, you telling me this now, only now, once I've finished stripping and I've finished doing everything that I'm doing, I can't take it personally now. It's, it's too late. It's too late to Plus get in my brain. Stage. Yeah. Certain things, there are certain things that will get to me because it's not something that I've dealt with now. But things like, oh, you're a stripper bitch, nah, 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 nah. all of these things like, you're a whore, you do is this, this and that. Those certain things I can deal with because I've got it every other day. But So let's put your heart into it. Yeah, you have to, you have to build a thick skin. Okay, that's understand. Talking of disagreements, mm -hmm. you have, <laughs> <laughs> you have um, got into quite a few disagreements <laughs> with uh, the fellow cast. Yeah. And stuff, even in episode 5 that should be dropping very soon. Yeah. We see you get to your climax, literally. Like, every week you think you just can't get worse. Like, literally, you get there and you get there. It's not getting worse. Not necessarily worse, but, like, your anger climax is more... Yeah, because I get more. angry. Like, I get frustrated when... The thing is, it's like, opinion is opinion and it fact is fact. If mm -hmm. you're going to sit there and give your opinion on something, that's your opinion. Yeah. Don't judge my opinion for certain things, if you get what I mean. If it's fact, then cool, tell me right or I'm right or I'm wrong. If it's an opinion, you can't tell me I'm right or I'm wrong. Because that's, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. It's as simple as that, really. Even regarding the question in episode four, mm -hmm. you said, 
you just don't get on with girls if that's the, if that's the word mm-hmm. if that's the way you said it um do you think that is root to your issues with other cast members or mm-hmm. why you clashed with no. Sarah and Zanif it's got nothing to do with the relationship that I have with Sarah and Zanif it's me as a person my relationship I've had more male friends than I've had girlfriends mm-hmm. in that's me I'm 23 like mm-hmm. I've had more male friends than I have girl had girlfriends if you get what I mean yeah. I went to all girls school I've only got like a handful of girlfriends from that do you get what I mean yeah I've always had more male friends that doesn't mean I'm a whore mm-hmm. like whatever people want to sit here and say because I've done some things but that doesn't mean I'm a whore I've got some girlfriends that understand me as a person I've got more male friends that understand me as a person because males don't nitpick every single thing they'll take one thing and they'll run with that if you get what I mean mm-hmm. so yeah yep yeah. alright so I'm um, not known to some viewers last week after we had finished filming things did get a bit explosive in here mm-hmm. up in this room um you were ready to the point where you would throw hands literally and mm-hmm. run to throw hands so would you say to the point where because you were angry yeah would you say you're misunderstood by some of our cast members here i feel like sometimes yeah obviously i can understand i can appreciate the way that i might come across might be a bit too like violent or aggressive well, that's, I can, just I can, you. that's just me. I can't change it. Do you know what I mean? I can try and turn it down, but I can't change it. Mm-hmm. I'll always have a certain approach because that's me. I can't change it. Um, yeah. But obviously, when if you can see that I'm angry, you can see that I want to strangle you. Don't antagonize me because it will make it ten times worse. I won't be able to stop myself. Okay. I'm talking yeah. about a serious note as well. Continue on that. Se- continue on that serious note. Mm-hmm. When you do make your points, you do make your points with a lot of emotion and you do talk like you're talking from experience. Mm. So back to episode five, um, you did say there's been cases where you've been uh, with a guy because we were talking about the question was about the thin line between rough sex and rape. Mm. You were saying there is cases where you've what you've been with a guy and you're getting up to the point and you're like, no, I'm not doing this. Mm. Like, no, 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 I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. Would you say by you giving your personal experiences when you're answering these questions you're somewhat helping other people um your audience like can relate what do you say in a sense yeah and in a sense no like you only you as a person know what you're about to do Mm -hmm. i can't sit here and tell you yes that's that's at that point that's when you need to tell them no i can't tell you that do you know what i mean yeah in the end of the day when you feel it's right that you say no, I don't want to have sex with you, or mm-hmm. cool, yep, yeah, I want to have sex with you, that's you as a person, mm-hmm. I can't tell you that, only you as an individual know that, I can't tell you any different, me personally, there's a thin, there's a thin line, in the end of the day, it's either I want to have sex with you or I don't, if I don't want to have sex with you, I won't see you, I won't meet you, I won't link you, nothing, if I do, then there's an opportunity to get what I mean. 100%, not every link. It's not every link, because to be brutally honest, I won't link you, if my intention not to fuck you. So every link you go on. It's not every link I go on. I'm saying, if I want to fuck you, mm. if I see anything that makes me think, well, like, I want to spend time with this person. Mm. My intentions aren't going to be, I want to fuck you. My intentions are, I want to spend time with you. I want to get to know you. Cool. If that's the case, then I'll allow that. If it's not, then it's not. Then I won't, in- I won't entertain your Snapchat messages. I won't entertain your WhatsApp messages. I won't entertain your DMs. Like, if I don't want to see you, I won't see you. If I don't want to fuck you, if I don't think in my head, raw, yeah, if I'm put in this position with this person, you know, I'll allow it to go further. If that's not the case, it's not the case. It's as simple as that. So basically what you're saying is that you would only link to a man that you have intentions to have sex with. Yeah. So is that bad? So every link you go on. It's not every yeah, link. The thing is, is, you can't say it's every link you go that's on because... Said. No, I understand. I get where you're coming from, mm, but exactly. I don't link mm. a bag of people. Mm. If I do link you, if I do make go out of my way to mm. sit there and see you and go out and date with you and things like that, then, well, obviously I've got like some thought in my head that raw like that could end up happening, and I will, you know, go for that. But if it's not, then it's not. If it is, then it is. Okay. 
And then going back lastly, mm. so it's because obviously it's only about yeah, of last week. Um, the song you got angry or whatever. Mm-hmm. You and Sarah did have a chat off camera as well. Mm-hmm. Um, all I know is you guys came back in and I felt like there was a steps made. Mm-hmm. Explain to me what happened in the conversation. Obviously, the in the end of the day, as females, mm-hmm. you've got you always have your back up when you meet another female that you feel is. No, I'm not saying that she intimidated me or anything. I'm saying like it's a girl's thing. Yeah, do you get what I mean? You've mm. always got your back. You've got to have your guard up, especially if there's more than one female that are together and they're friends and stuff. You're gonna have your back up. Mm-hmm. We had a conversation. I basically explained to her that my issue so much wasn't with her. It was with more more or less with her friend. So if you've got a problem with me, please tell me your problem with me. Don't tell me anyone else's problem with me. Do you, do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can come to an understanding with Sarah, cool, whatever, we might hash out on the show, we might disagree with certain things, but in the end of the day, she's still a person. I can't sit and disregard her, if you get what I mean, and her opinions. Her opinions are her opinions. The same way that I will sit and fight for my opinion is the same way she's going to do for hers. I can't sit there and say you're wrong for your opinion. The same way I don't want anybody to sit here and tell me that I'm wrong for thinking the way that I think. It's as simple as that. So we've come to an, an understanding. And the last question on everyone's mind is, where do you and Zanif stand now? Um, me and Zanif? I mean, we haven't spoken, so I don't really know. Um, on site. Huh? On site. <laughs> no, it's never, the thing is with me, it's never on site. You've got to, with me, you've, it, there's got to be a build-up. I'm the show, my life does not revolve around this. Do you get what I mean? So should Zanif watch her back? Zanif shouldn't watch her back. She should just be herself in the end of the day. I'm not going to sit here. If she walked through the door, I'm going to fight her. I'm not going to fight her. I'm not going to make an effort to, to speak to her. It's but not being that's not mendable. Do you get what I mean? The thing is, is it's always mendable. That's it's it. not, you haven't fucked my man. You haven't disrespected my parents. You haven't told me you're going to bang me in my I face. Did hear, I did hear that someone shouted that there was going to be the removal of someone's weed. I can't lie. Yeah, but I said that, so it's different. Oh. Yeah, but you say things like that. But when you're so angry... So you your weed then? No, don't be silly. In the end of the day, when I'm angry, as a lot of people can understand and can relate to, when you're angry, you just see red. You don't remember a lot of the things that you say when you're vexed. When you're fucking angry, mm-hmm. you can't remember what you say to people. You just say it, spur of the moment, basically. Do you know what I mean? So certain things that I might have said last episode purely because I was angry at that time, mm-hmm. not because I meant it. If she walked through the door right now, I would not snatch her wig off. I would be <coughs> me, but do you know what I mean? You've got to work me up to a point where I'm angry for me to get like that. I'm not just going to be like that off the bat. Okay. YouTube comments. How are you feeling in the comments? Um, it's Tango. Obviously, you came in guns blazing. People are maybe um, used to a very calm sitting. They're very like diverse, it's like oh, little conversation, and you just came in, boom, boom, and this is what it is, and this is what it will be. In the end of the day, at the end of the day, in whatever which one it is, I can only sit here and be myself. All right. Whether or not you guys think I'm fat or not, that's not my. I don't really give a shit to be really honest, because I'm gonna live my life the same way I do every single day. But you need to take into consideration the things that you say to people online because it can affect them. Like, cool, I might get, I'm used to getting messages on Instagram, I'm used to getting messages on Snapchat, I'm not used to getting messages on YouTube where you can, I've, I've put myself out there. Mm-hmm. If you put yourself out there, do you mm-hmm. get what I mean? If you, all the people that are sitting there trolling me and making all of these comments, if you put yourself out there, would you be happy with what anyone has to say about you? Like, horrible things, you wouldn't be happy with it. In the end of the day, yeah, you can sit there and call me rude, you can sit there and call me violent, you can call me a bitch. I don't care about all of those things. But when it comes to things that I physically can't change within a day, it gets a bit personal. I do get upset about things like that. Mm, I get yeah, upset about... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I get upset about people calling me fat and things like that. Because, what, like, I'm sitting here and I'm watching what, what I'm eating and I'm weighing myself. Like, I shouldn't have to be doing that. Do you get what I mean? I've been this way for a while. Like, I'm not going to sit here and... I can't change it. So... Take into consideration the things that you say to people. It's 100%. as simple as that. Hundred percent. That's a lesson we all know. When it's about their appearance, take it into consideration. Yeah. On that note, we're quite happy with that. We're quite happy with that. A good piece of check.
Gracias, Dios.